All right, at this point, we're ready to add some dimension to the elevation. I went ahead and added wood grain to all of the wood surfaces using the exact same procedure I showed you in the previous chapter, uh, lesson 17, when I showed you how to do the wood floor using the gradient of light brown to dark brown and then with a fiber filter over it. So what I'd like to do now is add some shadows, add some dimension, add some three-dimensionality to this. And one way I'm going to do that is going back to something that we've talked about over and over again in the book, and that is lighter, closer to you, darker, further away. So what I'd like to do is grab the pieces of wood that are closest to us, and that would be right here, the part of the sofa right here, and I'm going to hold down my shift key and then I'm going to select the step that's closest to us, which is this one. And I'm going to select this wood wall. Now I'm going to edit, I'm sorry, image adjustment, brightness contrast. And I'm going to make it lighter. How about 25? And that just gives it a little bit of a differentiation between the wood and the background. Now what I need to do is add some shadows. So. I'm going to zoom in a little on my stairs and I'm going to use my lasso tool. It's, um, it's difficult in elevations to use the drop shadow. There usually aren't too many opportunities, so you really have to do it by hand. So for my steps, holding down my Alt or Option key so that I can click and let go, I'm going to make a little bit of a shape, which will hopefully make this look like a step. Now I go to Image Adjustment, Brightness Contrast, I'll do negative 50. Okay, that's a good number, it's easy to remember. Um, how about this countertop over here? Once again, holding down Alt or Option. I'm going to make a shape which I think Will look good, and then image, adjustment, brightness, contrast, negative 50. Oh, and I'm not on the right layer. I'm on the right layer for the wood, so I can click OK. But now I want to go to the wall, and once again, just leave it selected. Image adjustment, brightness, contrast, negative 50. OK. Uh, let's see. Over here, I have the overhang of this table onto the wood. So I would go back to the wood layer, image adjustment, brightness contrast. I think you get the idea of how this is going to work. Okay, let's take a look at the sofa itself. Um, I have pillows. Um, all of the pillows and then also uh, the loose pillows and also just the upholstery itself was done with a fill of just a solid color with the paint bucket. So now what I can do is I can, this time instead of using um, my Alt key, I'm just going to kind of freehand a little bit of a, a shadow shape. And image adjustment, brightness contrast, oops, it's empty. I forgot to go to my sofa, there we go, sofa layer. Image adjustment, brightness contrast, negative 50. And over here, want it to look like that pillow's in front of the other one. Oops, okay, go to pillows. I think the hardest thing about Photoshop is just remembering to keep going back and forth to the different layers, which is really not very hard at all. Um, of course, something I can't forget to do is my glass. Just like when we're doing the glass by hand, it's very, very, very important that you add a shadow. So, let's see, I'm going to go right there. It's just a shadow of the mullion onto the glass. So, let's go to our window layer, image. Adjustment, brightness, contrast, negative 50, and right here as well.
and just like when you do this by hand, it really takes the exterior scene and pushes it into the background. One more. Make it 50. All right, there we go. Let's zoom out and take a look. Oh, there's something else I wanted to show you, and that is with the pillows right here. Um, something that I would like to do in order to make them look kind of soft and, and squishy. Let's zoom in a little. Um, go to my pillow layer and I'm going to go ahead and choose this pillow for example. So I want it to look soft and what I'm basically going to do is same thing that I would do um, by hand except I'm going to do it in Photoshop and there's a couple of different ways you could paint on using um, a different color. You could use dodge and burn. I could use um, a black color and a transparency. That's what I'm going to I'm going to do it a couple of different ways so that you can see. So let's go ahead and make black the foreground color. Now I'm going to my gradient tool and up here I want to change it. Right now it's going from black to white. I want it to go from black to transparent and I want to change my opacity and make this much lower maybe around here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. Um, the line, the first click is uh, the black, and the second click would be too transparent. So, for example, to make it look kind of shaded on the side, I would go like that, like that. Definitely a little coming up from the bottom. Okay, now let's go over to the other pillow. I'm going to do this one a different way. I'm going to use it my dodge and burn tool. So, um, dodge makes it lighter. Burn makes it darker, and what I'm going to do is just kind of paint with it. And you can see I have the exposure at 25%, which I can make darker, or I can just go over it again anywhere that I feel like I want it to get darker. Okay, let's back up and take a look at our elevation so far. Um, I think it is starting to look pretty good. 